I'm Michelle Getzinger and we're going to go over a topic today that's a little bit confusing for everybody and is called Seller's Assist. <music> Seller's Assist is essentially um, for buyers that are qualified to buy a home that don't have enough money, like down payment wise, not like, but down payment wise. To come to the table so they're able to basically finance their down payment into their mortgage so seller's assist has a lot of confusion behind it but there's no better way for you to learn what seller's assist is than for me to show you firsthand so what we're going to do is we're going to go through a hypothetical situation that we're going to try and simplify as best as we can and we're going to walk you through it line by line so we're going to start buyers and sellers this is both for you to learn okay um we're going to your buyer pretend like you just made an offer for 200,000 same with the seller you just got it and it includes 3% seller's assist so if you have a $200,000 house and you offer 3% seller's assist to go along with it the seller's assist amount is $6,000 so basically what that is is you have to look at it like the offer is really $194,000 now that's not what the seller walks away from in their pocket that just happens to be the amount that is the offer that's on the table. Now the seller still has to pay a myriad of other things, including realist, realtor commission, transfer tax, lien and title stuff, okay? And same for the buyer, the buyer is gonna have their own set of things that they're gonna have to come to the table. And that actually is what seller's assist is. Seller's assist is an assistance towards the buyer who doesn't have enough money to come to the table to bring their, basically their down payment. So we're financing part of what the buyer needs to bring to the table. So buyers, you're pre-approved for $200,000 and you decide you find this house that you love that you're going to make an offer for $200,000 with 3% seller's assist. And you, you're all excited because you think you're giving the seller a full price offer, but you're not. The seller is actually getting a $194,000 offer. So let's, let's take a look at this a little bit deeper. Again, let's look, $200,000 price offer, and you are offering that with 3% seller's assist. That 3% equals $6,000. So essentially, you're not making a full price offer, you're making an offer that's $6,000 under list price. So buyers, don't think you're doing sellers a favor by giving them a full price offer and asking for seller's assist, because you're really not. That money still comes out of their pocket. So seller's assist to them is a debit. Now sellers, you just gotta look at that like it is a debit. So when you subtract everything down and you know what the offer is, in this case it's 194,000, you know that that is not a full price offer, it's actually less than that, it's 3% less. And that is not the seller's walk away number. Again, we're gonna dig down a little bit deeper with that. So let's talk about the scenario where the seller isn't gonna budge off of the asking price and they're sticking to the 200,000, but you still want the house, so what do you do? You still need the seller's assist. So what you would do is you would go in and you make an offer of the percentage of the seller's assist that you need over the asking price. So in this case, the house is $200,000, you would go roughly 3% over the asking price which would be approximately around $6,184. Boom. <laughs> I hope this cleared up some questions you might have on seller's assist. I wanted to make sure that I pushed home that it wasn't free money and that it is a vehicle to help move deals to close. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe and I hope to see you again next time.